Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a Sephora haul, if you can't already tell that from the description. So I didn't get a whole lot, but I also made a large order on Morphe and I was going to combine the hauls, but then I was like, no, I'll just wait because I have just like a lot of Morphe lipsticks and I just didn't want it to be too much in one video. So I'm just going to show you what I got from Sephora. Also, I'm missing one thing, which I'll talk about in the video. Um, it's coming in the mail, but I didn't want to wait to get it. Oh, also, there is one thing from Ulta, but I didn't really feel like it was fair to call it an Ulta slash Sephora haul because I only got one thing from Ulta, and that's because I can't get it at Sephora. So we'll start with that. Okay, so the first thing is the Tarte Shape Tape. I am in love with this. You guys know that. I use it in all my videos but I was out of it. I got this one in Bear. My other one, I think, is in Light Sand, um, which is fine for, like, spot concealer. Okay, I can't film when my kids have anymore. <laughs> that's, that's what I've learned from filming this video so far. Anyway, I don't even know what I was saying. This is what motherhood's like. You try to do stuff and then you get in the middle of it and then you forget because they scream at you or they're making a lot of noise. So my other one is in light sand and that's good for when I have my fake tan on. But right now it's fine to like spot conceal for my pimples and stuff like that. But it's not great for the under eye area. I mean, it's not bad. Like it doesn't look bad. It's just not like as light and bright as I want it to be. So I got this in fair. Okay, next is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I love Urban Decay setting sprays. I had the chill, but I've ran out of it. Um, I really like it too, but what I've been doing is just using this. And I've actually been using it like as a spray, but also I'll spray my beauty blender and then just like press it into the skin. And I feel like it just makes my makeup last so much better. And then to get like the dewy effect, if I want that, I just spray Fix Plus on top of it. Okay, the next thing I've been dying to try is the Dior Skin Forever Foundation. Um, so Jaclyn Hill has raved about this foundation and obviously like if Jaclyn Hill raves about it, I want it. It's a problem. Like I want everything that she talks about. So I need a lot more money. I got it in, I actually got it in the lightest shade because I'm, I'm pretty fair right now. I can't believe this is the lightest shade. I don't know. Like I feel bad for the people that are fairer than me, which I know I'm fair, but there are some people that are fairer than me. Anyway, it's one ounce and they say it is a matte finish, but then I've actually heard that it's more of a satin finish, not a matte finish. Anyway, I'm super excited to check that out. Okay, the next thing I've also been dying to try, which I'm pretty sure every single other YouTuber has tried it, but it's the Hourglass, Glash, the Hourglass Famous Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. And Honestly, the reason I haven't tried it is because I don't really know if I want to like it. And here's why. It is $46 for 0.25 ounces. Okay, so the Make It Forever HD stick is $43. And I believe that it is 0.44 ounces or something like that. So you get almost double the foundation in the makeup forever stick than you do this stick and I know like I know all like they're not going to be your typical one ounce like liquid foundations and I've heard I don't really know but I've read somewhere why you get less in a stick I got it in the shade alabaster which was not their lightest shade but it's still it was one of their fairer shades I think it was a it was like fair with warm undertones. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation. I just got a mini one. Um, I've heard really good things about it and I've heard that, is it this one that's good for your pores? Now I'm double, like, I don't know if it was this one. Is this the primer that's good for your pores? I hope so. <laughs> I'm going to have to go look and see, but I think it is. I just got a smaller one, like the smallest one I have in the like the checkout aisle where you can get the mini sizes at Sephora just because I didn't want to spend a fortune if I didn't like it but I don't like to return a lot of stuff there like I will but I just like I feel so bad because they like just have to throw it away and I hate that 
I mean, if it's something that I just really don't like or if it's a skin product and I didn't notice like any difference in my skin at all, yeah, I'm going to return it. But I just don't like to do that. Now there's a freaking train. I feel like there's always a ton of background noise in my videos. I hate trains. So the next two things I got are, or why can't I talk, are the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliners. I got one in Midnight Cowboy and one in Pyro. I'm actually going to open these up, do kind of like a little swatch for you guys. I've seen tons of people use these and I'm just like, I've been doing more adventurous looks lately, so I've been dying to have some glitter eyeliner. Okay, so this is the first one in Pyro. It's just like, it's like a clear base, it looks like. And then it just has, it looks like purple, green, maybe bluish, maybe pink. I'm gonna add just a little more just in case. You can't tell. I hope that comes off on camera. Okay, and then here is Midnight Cowboy. And it's just a gold. Anyways, I'm super excited to use those. I've been wanting them for a really long time. A lot of this I've been wanting for a long time. Okay, guys, I'm so freaking excited about this. It is the Tarte Be A Mermaid and Make Waves palette. Even, like, look at the packaging. It's so freaking pretty. Like, I can't get over it. It just looks like, I mean, the outside looks like a mermaid. I also got the brushes, and that's what's coming in the mail. I'm not going to open this and, like, do swatches or anything because I'm going to do a review on the palette and the brushes when the brushes come in, but I'm going to show you the outside just because it's so pretty. Like, I feel like it's not coming across on camera like it looks in real life. Anyway, it's a shell. It's just so freaking pretty. The packaging sold me and then I went to Sephora and swatched them and they felt really nice so I hope they go on my eyes as good as they swatched in the store. Okay guys that concludes today's video. Look for the future videos because I'm going to be testing out a lot of these products. I think my first one that I'm probably going to do is the Tarte Mermaid palette with the brushes that I ordered but then I also really want to review the Hourglass Foundation and the Dior Skin Foundation. And I'm going to be doing some eye looks with those glitter liners. So stay tuned for that. Oh yeah, also stay tuned for my Morphe haul. I have like 14 liquid lipsticks in that haul. Um, a couple eyeshadow palettes, a couple brushes. Oh, I got their new concealer. I don't know how new it is. It may not be new at all. I feel like I'm way out of the loop sometimes. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.